Welcome guys to Nerd Out. I'm your host Zylo and today I'm bringing us a new video based off of a loot cave, kind of a loot area where I guess you can pick up legendary engrams a lot. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to quickly say that like I pointed out in my last video, Lights hasn't really touched on it at all, but I will be giving away a copy of The Taken King if we break 1k before The Taken King comes out. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys just hit the subscribe button, leave a like because it means a lot to us. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. I'm going to show you guys where this loot cave is at, how to access it, and what makes it kind of better or, you know, good for loot than all these other areas that we've been hearing about. So first thing you want to do, you want to go to Earth, and you want to go to, I believe it's the, not that one, no, nope, no, nah. nope, nope. The Dark Within, right here, you want to leave it on normal, or level three easy, so this is a pretty good, pretty good way. Uh, it spawns two thralls that you can pretty much just snipe, and they'll just keep respawning. It takes like literally two seconds, you just turn, 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 turn. So it'll work pretty well. So we will quickly head down to Earth and be able to take a look at this loot cave. So as you guys know, more news is coming out next week for The Taken King. Uh, the stream is going to be happening on Wednesday, so that's something to look forward to. It's going to be a breakdown of the Court of Oryx, which is going to be really cool. All right, so first thing you do, you hop on your Sparrow, and you are going to head all the way, basically the way it wants you to go. But we are going to do it a little bit differently than what it wants us to do. Now this is unpatched still, so you guys can all go check this out. Today's date is, we're looking at August 30th, 2015. So if you're anywhere near this, you see this in the future. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't look like it's going to be patched. I've known about this for a little while and I decided to make a video. I've gotten quite a few legendaries on this. So... Now the rates for drop are going to be the same for any any normal killing, but it, it works pretty good. So you guys basically want to come in here. You can be off your sparrow if you want, or you can be on it. So you're going to go along the mission like you're supposed to. You're going to hop up here, and you're going to keep walking. Ignore the Dinklebot, because who cares? He's annoying anyways. Just kidding. Peter Dinklage is babe. So we're going to go ahead and open this door, because that's what Dinklebot wants. He wants us to open this door. Or he wants to do it, because that's all he's good for. That's why we have magic Rubik's Cubes. So we're going to go ahead and let him open up this door. We're going to say, screw you, Dinklebot. We're going to go back the way we came. We're going to let him open doors and just hold it open for us. So we're going to walk all the way back here. And we are going to come back out to where these enemies were just at. And we are going to say, screw you. You guys are not worth our time. And we are going to murder them with our Fatebringer. If you don't have a Fatebringer, then obviously you didn't do the game right. No, just kidding. Any gun will work. So we're getting back on our Sparrow. And we're going to go along. We're going to go up here. And that door opens actually one of the key parts. That's why we had to do that. So we're going to move along, move along. In this area right here, we're going to shove our Sparrow into this, into this uh, tight little corner here. We're going to get all up in it. And we're going to... Hop off our sparrow, hold our joystick to the left, hold X, and hopefully hop through this window. As you can see, hop through it. Now, you're going to see this little window frame. We're going to jump right through it, and then we're going to slide through this area right here. Now, you may not get this on your first try, but just keep sliding in to this vagina-shaped hole in the wall. So, here we go. Until you actually get out there. There we go. See, we're all the way out. So then we're going to walk along. See if we can jump up here. Maybe not. We're going to jump up here anyways, because we don't care. Okay, now you see this little wall over here? We're going to run. and Maybe we shouldn't have jumped down, but uh, we're going to jump up here, and it's going to get dark. It's going to get real dark. As you can tell, yeah, see, even Dinglebot came out. He's like, man, it's dark out. So we're going to jump up. One, two, and three. We're going to jump up here, and then I believe we are going to... We're going to see that crap over there, and... I, you know what? It's been a while. We are going to jump this way. Was well, not where we were supposed to go, was it? All right, boys. It seems I have gotten myself lost. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? All right, I'll be back, and we will figure out where we need to go from here because I have completely forgotten. So I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about this. Give me one second. All right, guys. I am back, and so we are back in the same spot we were just at. So first things first, we're gonna get back to this first area we were at. We jumped up here from the iceberg area, as you can probably hear all those thralls freaking out in there. So remember, we jumped up all three of these little iceberg jumpy things, and we're going to jump straight across right here. So we're going to jump right across, we're going to come up here, and we're going to run over to these little pebbles on the ground where somebody was playing Yahtzee, it looks like. 
And we're going to look at that little tear in the world, apparently, because who cares about that, you know? I mean, seriously, there's literally a tear. Okay, so we're going to quickly jump onto this crate, and oh god, the world disappeared. Just kidding. We are just going to slowly sidestep, and we're going to see this open up right here. We're going to hop right through here, and we're going to hit a loading. Boom. Loading. So we're going to sit here and load for a while. We're going to walk through the Skywatch. I believe we're just going to, yep, through the Skywatch. Go this way. And we are going to pop out. We're still in the darkness zone, I believe. And you see on the radar, we got those two little red things over there. Those are our two thralls. And they are here to give us lots of legendary engrams. So if we can just fit through this freaking window. Okay, there we go. We're through the window. So we are going to come and take a look at our thralls. So there we go. We got one thrall. You see, he disappeared. We got another thrall. Now come back. Poof. There he is. So what you guys are going to do, doesn't matter what gun you got, we can quickly just boom, dead. And then where'd he come? Right, boom, dead. Boom. And repeat the process, guys. You just keep doing this until, look, boom, we've already got a blue engram. And of course it's full, but see, we just keep doing this until we get our loot. And like I said, guys, it works really well. You guys drop everything. If you have black white titles, you can obviously farm this for Glimmer. It works great. I'd recommend it. So guys, this has been Zylo. I hope you guys enjoyed this loot cave experience, and I hope you guys drop a subscribe button. You know, no, don't drop a subscribe button. Hit subscribe, because we are trying to break that 1K mark. We'll be giving away a Taken King, and to one of you guys, lucky subscribers, will be a video on that. Anyways, guys, so this has been Zylo, and I am out of here. Peace!